Hi, I'm Matthew, and I am considering switching some of my server applications to Alpine Linux, and here's why. Well, for years I've been using Ubuntu Server for most of my applications that I run for my business, and for playing around with stuff, experimenting with things, I've used Ubuntu Server. And for the most part, I've really liked it, and I don't really have a specific reason that I need to switch and change to something else. So I'm just curious. I'd like to learn more and experiment with other Linux-based systems. Especially, I'd like to work with some Red Hat-based stuff like uh, CentOS because that's used a lot for business. And so I'd like to learn that more. But for my own internal use and for running on older or minimally spec hardware, I'd like to experiment with some other things. So I went looking, um, but primarily I found um, a video by DJ Ware, and I linked to him in my article. Um, and in one of his videos, he introduced and talked about Alpine Linux. So I highly recommend going and watching his video, checking out DJ Ware's channel. Uh, I've really enjoyed a lot of the things that I've learned from the things that he talks about in his different videos. And one of his videos was on Alpine Linux. So for me, I've got a number of applications that are mostly running on one server. Uh, and it's a Dell server with dual CPUs, a lot of memory, a lot of storage, and the kind of a bunch of applications are all running on that same machine. A lot of them are in Docker containers, which I didn't set up myself. I had somebody help me set that up. And so one of the things that DJ Ware talked about is that one application for one machine or one server. And I really like that because it simplifies troubleshooting. If something goes wrong with one, it doesn't take down your entire infrastructure. It's just every particular server application on each machine. And I'm going to try to move my own administration to that so that each uh, thing that I have, I have you know a web-based server for this or um, SSH server for Clonezilla or my backup server, that they're separated out on different physical machines so that they're more reliable. If I have a failure, it's not going to take down my entire infrastructure. It's just going to take down that one thing and I can fix it and then we'll be back up and running. And especially with my interest in older hardware as well, Alpine Linux is so much smaller and there's some technical reasons for that, but so much smaller than Ubuntu Server or CentOS that it really will work well on older Core 2 Duo hardware or older Xeon hardware uh, that I like to experiment with. So that's another reason why I'm considering switching some of those applications to Alpine Linux. And uh, so Alpine Linux is very well maintained because it is popular for using within Docker containers. Now I'm looking to get out of Docker containers and run them on physical hardware instead but it is extremely well maintained, up to date, and secure, lightweight, because it's uh, very popular for use in these Docker containers. And so the packages that I'm wanting to be using are available on Docker as well. Backup PC is what I use for my backup server. It's extremely powerful. I like using that, and I plan on continuing, but I want to separate it out from my, from my current server onto its own separate machine. Nextcloud I use for file syncing between my laptop and workstations, uh, and then also for calendaring and some other applications I use Nextcloud for, and that's available as an Alpine package as well. Um, so I haven't yet moved these things over to Alpine Linux, but I'm strongly considering it because I want to learn more about different distributions of Linux and server administration. Uh, sense OS and including something more lightweight that I think Alpine Linux will suit that very nicely. Um, I do have one web application that's based on Ruby on Rails that I'm probably going to have to stick for a particular configuration in an older version of Ubuntu server um, because it requires things that are set up and working on that and I'm not going to move it to something just to create a whole bunch of work for myself when it's running fine on Ubuntu. So I'm going to leave that application on that machine because that works. So Alpine is very bare bones in comparison with Ubuntu and CentOS, but it's that way on purpose. And it's small, it's minimal, it's fast, it's secure. I'm really liking it. And uh, 
So I played around with it a little bit. So far, I haven't installed it on my son's Raspberry Pi, and we use this build here, the ARM HF uh, version. And it's interesting because it, it uh, kind of loads into memory, and then to store anything, you have to run a special command that actually stores it. Um, so that's interesting. And I've got it loaded up here. It's super quick and fast. Um, just to give an example, uh, I can APK as the package manager, and I can say add. Let's try add being back up PC and see if it loads. It's going to fetch from the mirror. Um, oh, it's it's in a different repository that's not in the the one that um, is in the default one. So I'm not going to install it on the Raspberry Pi. But the APK package manager is super fast. It loads things very quickly, and there's some technical reasons for that that DJ Ware explains in his video about that. Um, on the physical hardware, so for the Raspberry Pi, I don't anticipate using that for any of my infrastructure, but that's the first device that I experimented putting Alpine Linux on. And it worked great. It's super responsive, very fast. Um, if I search for things, I'm, I'm connected via SSH. It's just super quick and works very well. Of course, everything's in a graphical text environment, but it's more responsive and snappy than a Ubuntu server would be on similar hardware, for sure. A Ubuntu server would be noticeably slower in its response and installing things and all of that than this Alpine Linux is on this Raspberry Pi 1. So it's the oldest original Raspberry Pi that this is running on. Um, so uh, the downloads, uh, the one that I would be installing on say Core 2 Duo hardware, or really almost any of the hardware that I'm gonna be experimenting with for separating out my physical servers is this uh, extended one here. Most common use packages include a suitable for routers and servers, and servers is my interest. Um, there. And so I'll have to experiment with that, see how it works. I haven't yet migrated my applications to that, but I'm considering it and I'm looking forward to it. And when I do, I certainly will talk about it. If you've used Alpine Linux and really like it or don't, feel free to share your experience. I'm certainly interested in hearing more and um, I look forward to experimenting with this. I'm Matthew. Talk to you more later.